All right, here's our video on ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. And we're going to just talk about the electromagnetic spectrum because there is other forms of radiation you can get from like say alpha and beta particles, but we'll talk about them in another video. So just this is just the electromagnetic spectrum. And let me have, let's get, let's use white. Why not? So again, the electro, and we talked about this in other videos. Wow, it's a little blurry there. Let's do this. Make it neater. The electro, there we go, the electromagnetic, we'll just say electromagnetic radiation because the electromagnetic spectrum is all radiation. Now, radiation has a scary connotation, right? I mean, it, not all radiation is dangerous per se, and that's why that's what we're going to talk about in this video. All right, and so let's just get a clean page, and we'll talk about the spectrum, the electromagnetic spectrum, which is light, by the way. The electromagnetic spectrum is light and not just visible light, not the light that we see, but there's other forms of light. And I talked about these in other videos. So let's get a clean page. All right, so here it is. Here's the spectrum. So, and we'll, let's see, what color shall we use? Let's, see, let's use white. So here we have radio waves, which are the longest, right? They're the longest of the radio waves, the longest part, and all the way at the end, gamma are the shortest. Now you can see in green, all this is non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation is safer than ionizing radiation. So I'll change the color and let's use black, yes. So this is my arrow. So in ionizing radiation, that can damage your DNA. And I'm sure you know this when you go to the dentist. You're taking an x-ray at the dentist or the doctor. These are x-rays. They're going to put lead. They're going to put a lead shield on your chest, right? And then the person will run out of the room because x-rays are dangerous, right? And that lead shell, that lead apron should protect you. But ionizing radiation can damage your DNAs, your DNA. And they can alter, they can throw, they can throw electrons, here's the main thing, out of their shells, out of their clouds, their clouds, their shells, their rings. They can knock them out. Look at they throw, they can knock them out. That's dangerous. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, and ultraviolet radiation, they don't have the energy to do that. So that's why they're safer. Doesn't mean they're not dangerous, though, and we'll go over each one. So we'll start with radio waves. Again, if you're looking at this, you can see how the, the waves get longer. They get shorter as you go from left to right. So radio waves are the longest. They have the longest wave and the lowest energy. So here's the lowest energy. Lowest energy. And gamma has the highest energy. You know it over here, lower, higher. And by the way, they're all light. This is all light, but we only see this part of the spectrum, the visible light spectrum. And I've talked about this before, but infrared, snakes can see in infrared. That's heat. It's like that heat vision and ultraviolet radiation. Well, birds can see in ultraviolet radiation. So let's look at all of these, take them one at a time. Let's start with radio. And let's see, let's use, let's use that color. So and when we're talking radio waves, we're talking within this area that I'm making this circle. This is all radio waves. And H, V, H, F just means high frequency. V, H, F, very high frequency, see? Ultra high frequency, super high frequency, and so on. So in H, F, this is AM radio, shortwave radio on your radio. VHF is FM radio. TV uses that also. And then we have, and this is all radio. So this is all radio waves. And also your Bluetooth, your cell phone, that's all falling within radio. They have long wavelengths, longer wavelengths, lower energy. They can't knock electrons out of your shell. Now, what you're looking at here, it's not a safe. It looks like a safe, right? And it's not a microwave. It's actually a radio wave oven. And they're making these. You're going you're gonna to see a lot more of these in the future. And radio waves, now, they're not dangerous because, per se, 
there's a word per se. And let's, let's get our color. Let's use purple. Well, that color. Let's use that color. So radio waves, if you get enough of them, you know, they can't knock electrons out of their shell. They can't damage your DNA, but they could produce burns. And what they do is if you get enough frequency, you can cause atoms to vibrate. Now, atoms are vibrating, but you can cause them to vibrate more. Everything's moving inside you. It's kinetic energy. And if you can cause them to vibrate, you can cook food. Right? That's what microwaves do. So you can produce, like microwaves, produce heat. So that's how they could be dangerous, because if you get too much, they could create, like I said, it's over here, burns. Now, there's this, um, you may have heard people say that you shouldn't live near high-tension wires because they may produce, you know, cause cancer and stuff like that. But there has been no consistent evidence on that at all. And scientists will tell you that they just cannot knock out electrons from their shell, but they can, uh, they can produce burns. And so here's our high-tension wires, you know, waiting for Godzilla to knock them down. And the Godzilla song from Blue Eyes to Cold. Or King Kong. Well, again, you know, there is no proof. There's not enough evidence to uh, say that high tension wires, living near high tension wires, because remember, this is all radio frequency, can cause cancer or, or alter your DNA. But again, the high enough frequencies can create body tissue damage by burns. All right, next one is microwave. By the way, remember I said your cell phone, Bluetooth has radio frequencies also, and there's not clear evidence of what they can do, whether they can cause cancer. And again, they're still researching this. But again, radio frequencies do not have enough energy to alter your DNA. So that's something to think about. Now, with microwave, and I'm sure we're all familiar with the microwave. So microwaves work like the radio waves. They will heat your food. They will cause water molecules to vibrate. And that's how they heat your food. And so because they're causing water uh, molecules to vibrate, sometimes your food may, let's say if you cook, you're heating up bread, like you're heating up leftover pizza, that the, it won't taste that well because it's drying out the bread. And also microwaves don't penetrate too well. So if you're cooking a big, thick steak, it may not work in the microwave. Nether, uh, nevertheless, uh, microwaves, again, they can't alter your DNA. So you could stare at a microwave. They're not escaping to damage. And if they do escape, again, you would, if it's a high concentration, the microwave can cause a burn, but it's not going to alter your DNA. So you may get eye strain by staring at it, just like the television. A long time ago, the parents would tell us not to stare at the TV. But no, television, the only thing you'll probably get, again, television is radio wave. The only thing you may find is eye strain. Just like when you stare at the computer, you get eye, eye strain. So as long as your microwave is sealed and shut, you're safe. You can stare away at it. That's not going to cause cancer. And again, microwave, radio wave, they're non-ionizing radiation, so they cannot alter your DNA. All right, and now we have our oven theme. We had our radio oven. We had our microwave oven, and now we have an infrared oven, like your toaster here. So infrared, again, non-ionizing radiation can't damage your DNA. But again, it's the heat that can cause it. Infrared produces a lot of heat. So that's what you have to watch out for, infrared. Now, in infrared, if you if you can see an infrared, you, it's heat vision, basically heat vision. And not exactly like this. You you would see the heat coming off people's body like snakes do or a predator, right? You can see through walls. You can see if someone, you, well, you wouldn't be able to see. All you're seeing is the heat energy. So if you're outside in the woods, you can, you can uh, find someone hiding behind a tree or you can spot a deer or a wolf or a wolverine or whatever the case may be out there with infrared. And this is what it would look like if you're out there with an infrared uh, device, right? You can buy those infrared glasses and so forth. They cost a lot of money, but you'll see the heat from the deer. That's infrared. And then we come to visible light, right? This is also radiation. Visible light will not cause burns. 
what will cause burns is ultraviolet. And in this chart, they have the gamma on the left. I had it before on the right. doesn't matter. And just getting our pen ready over here, we can see, and we'll use red. Why not? So over here, you know, this FM TV shortwave AM, this is radio waves. The microwaves are getting in within this part, the microwaves. So they just put down radar. And then we, we talked about infrared with the heat. And now we have this little part of the spectrum is visible light. And red has the longest. So red has the longest wave wave uh, waves length, that is, of visible light. And blue is over here. Violet has the shortest. Now, because we don't have violet cones in our eyes, we don't see violet as well as blue. So that's why the sky is blue, by the way. And also, a lot of violet is absorbed in the upper atmospheres. But if we had cones, violet cones, we would see more violet in the sky than blue. So blue light has a higher frequency than red light. But again, like I said, visible light is not what's burning us. It's these ultraviolet rays. And there's three types of ultraviolet rays. There's ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B, and ultraviolet C. Now, C doesn't enter the, our atmosphere. So we're only concerned with A and B. And the way to think about it is like, ultraviolet A can age you. And ultraviolet B could burn you. So you get your burn from ultraviolet B. By the way, you could also get uh, vitamin D from UVB. So if say UVB can give you vitamin D, which is very important. You get more vitamin D from ultraviolet B and you can get by taking vitamin D supplements. All right. Now, again, like I said, all that we mentioned is non-ionizing radiation. They cannot alter your DNA. But x-rays and gamma can. They have very high frequencies. So, and this works for gamma also. So an x-ray photon, it could penetrate your skin. It can penetrate your cells. And it can enter into your DNA and knock into your DNA. And that's dangerous, right? So... It can cause mutations, right? So when you have here, you have your nucleotide bases. Let's get our pen going over here, right? You have A, adenine, cytosine, guanine, thymine. All these bases, which are linked here, so let's say that's adenine, and that'll be thymine. So A is always connected to T, and let's say that was a G. So you can see that an X-ray photon can come in and do some damage to this, your DNA. So that's why, and no others can. X, and we're talking X-ray and gamma can only do this. So that's why there is a direct damage, which they can do. So going back just to review, we have our non-ionizing radiation that can be dangerous because they could vibrate atoms and they can cause heat and heat could create burns. So they can create burns in very high frequencies. And ultraviolet has more frequency than visible light, infrared, microwave, and radio. And in infrared, when you're out there in the sun, getting the visible light, you're also getting UVA and UVB, especially the time of year uh, and the time of day. Because UVB, by the way, just I'll add that, put a little yellow there. Usually, depending on where you are, what latitude you are, especially in, let's say you were in New York or Massachusetts in that area, ultraviolet radiation, you really, the UVB doesn't take effect in the winter. So it's only in the spring and summer months that you can get UVB anyway. But remember, B for burn. Remember that. So very high frequency, they can burn you. You get enough frequency on visible light, you put a nice little magnifying glass. This is my little magnifying glass. So you can concentrate visible light to get a burn also. And, of course, we will make microwave ovens, radio wave ovens, infrared ovens, and they will definitely burn you. All right. So And, again, so ionizing radiation, damage your DNA, x-rays, and gamma. All right. That's our video.